Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about how to train and deploy a model in Azure Machine Learning. So we are going to use SQLearn and we are going to use the digits datasets, also known as MNIST, which is provided in the Azure Open datasets. So here I have my notebook, it's already executed, and we are going to go step by step in the steps that we need to do. So first, uh, we are going to use the MNIST dataset. For that, we need to uh, import from Azure ML.open datasets. Then uh, with some uh, concatenation, we get the data folder uh, from our own uh, storage. We create a folder there, and then we download the dataset. So basically, with this dot download, we are uh, selecting which folder we need to use and which uh, files we are downloading. As you can see here, four files were downloaded, some with image, some with labels, one for training, one for testing on each one. Then on the second piece of the code, we are actually going to uh, take those files and select or actually create the variables that will hold the X train, X test, Y train, Y train, and Y test. So these are actually the, the image representation uh, in NumPy arrays. So with this, we can already in the next step uh, do the training with scikit-learn or with any other algorithm. Then uh, we are going to plot uh, some of those images. So first we are going to select how many images we want to plot, let's say 20. Uh, and then we are going to use a, a for loop uh, with a random permutation to select random image from, 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 the, from the data set. And then we are going to plot both the label and the image itself. Let's execute this piece of code. Here you can see the image, handwriting, and the label, okay? So, next we are going to uh, train the model. For that, we are going to use the logistic regression from SQLearn. For that, uh, we are going to use the workspace. So this is the local workspace. Workspace from config means that we are using the this instance of Azure uh, ML. Then we set the ML flow, the tracking URL, the experiment name, and auto log. And then uh, with logistic regression, we can just set some of the parameters. If you put your mouse over here, you will be able to see all the documentation for every single parameter type. In the original uh, file, uh, the solver was a different one. I changed this one to new CG to see the diff the result to see if it's a, a, a different uh, a precision. Let's say like that. Then we need to register the model. So once we have the model trained, we register into Azure ML so that we can reuse it. So with this line of code, we actually tell him where where is the uh, model URL. And then with MLflow to register model, we are registering to, into the tool. Uh, just be warned that if the model already exists, we are going to create a new version of it, not a new model. So it will still appear as the same model in the user interface. Uh, before going on, let's see. So in previous versions of Azure ML, this was called experiments, but now it's called jobs. So the first thing we do we did was the was the jobs, and you you have here Azure ML in ten minutes tutorial. I click on it, and you can see that I have several uh, job runs. So I started yesterday, and today I selected uh, a different uh, solver. Uh, if you remember, the model, the solver I use is Newton CG. And why did I use it? 
because if I go to the documentation and sklearn, it says that for multi-class problems, only Newton CG, SAG, Saga, and LBFGS handle multinomial, multinomial laws. Uh, the default one was live linear, and with live linear, let's go back to jobs. With live linear, the the training recall score was 0.92 percent, and with and the training precision score was actually almost the same, 92 percent, but when I use the new solver, Newton CG, the precision score actually, actually increased by 2% compared to, to the previous one, okay? And you can see it here in, in the chart, 94%. Uh, let's go back to the notebooks. No, let's go back to the models. So this is actually the, the job run, the experiment. So these are all the job runs and all the job runs reside into one experiment or one job, which you can see here, experiment. And then we, we already saw that we registered a model. So that model should appear here. So you see it's the same model name, but with different versions, okay? And here we have all the properties that we use uh, to train the model. Let's go back to the notebooks. So we registered the model and now we are going to deploy uh, for real-time inference. So real-time inference actually means that we put the model as a web service. It's just that. And then we can consume that uh, web service to get a prediction. So. Uh, for that, we need uh, a few things. The first thing we need to decide which environment we need. And an environment uh, in Azure ML is nothing more than a Docker image, a Docker image with a set of uh, pre-installed software and Python package where we want uh, to run the, the inference. So you see here, so I'm environment.get and a name, Azure ML skill learn. We are going to copy this. On the left side, we go to environments. Uh, I already had it here. And there are a lot of environments. If I click on this one, this is the one we are using, is use, uh, we are going to get the Docker image definition. So we are using Python 3.8, pip 21.3.1, and then a few of the dependencies we need. And this is the image that we are going to deploy either into Azure Kubernetes or into Azure Container Instances. If we go back to the, to the notebook, uh, so we already uh, decided which environment we are going to get. Then we need to decide which deployment configuration here. I'm going to use ACI Web Service Azure Container Instance uh, with one core, one memory, some tags, and some description. Until that point, I am only setting up uh, the configuration. I haven't deployed anything yet. Then on the next lines, we are going to deploy the model. So to deploy the model, we use uh, the model uh, object from azure.azureml.core.model. Uh, we use the same workspace that uh, we use from the beginning. Uh, we set up a name. Then we create the inference configuration with uh, an entry script, uh, the environment we set up in the previous uh, lines. And then we just deploy it. So we deploy the service in this workspace with this name, uh, with this model, uh, with this inference configuration and this deployment configuration. This will take a few a few minutes. And then we can see the endpoint. If you click on the left endpoint, you will see we have different endpoints. So this endpoint will have a REST endpoint, a URL that we can consume, we can send data to, we, not, we are going to get some results. If you click on consume, 
Uh, Azure ML will give you even the Python code, C Sharp, in how to consume it and how to get uh, the results you need or the prediction you need. Let's go back to the notebook. Uh, we are going to test the model. So how do we test it? First, we are going to generate a random number uh, between zero and the maximum length uh, f of our data set, uh, of the test data set. Then we are going to create a JSON object. So starting with data, and then we are going to select a random uh, sample from the X test data set. We are going to convert it into a list and then we are going to convert it into a string. So we make the JSON object. We are going to set the headers, obviously, application slash JSON. And then we are going to use the request uh, module to post it to the URL that uh, we deploy it to with the input data. So basically this and with some headers. And at the end, this is going to give you a result. I'm going to execute this. And basically it's going to tell you that you sent an image, a random image to the classification model, which is deployed into Azure Container Instance and it's going to give you a prediction Two. In this case, we have a label because uh, or uh, X, uh, Y, train a uh, data set uh, what's already labeled. So we can verify that it's actually correct. And at the end, if you want to delete the server, you just click service.delete, which is handy because uh, this will uh, take some of your budget. So it will have some costs. And that's basically it. I hope you find this video informative and see you in the next one.